Hi guys, I've got a fun page in my Traveller's Notebook today for you with these cute, cute photos of me and Jack. Um, like I literally went and saw him on Monday and took these photos and had to scrap them straight away. They're um, not my usual sort of colorways. Jack's got gorgeous little um, foxy bodysuit on. So it's a lot of orange, which actually works out really nicely because I can use my new heritage stuff. Um, there's a lot of orangey tones in this collection and um, it actually works out really nicely. So I'm just choosing a pattern paper for the right hand side of my page here. And on the left hand side, I'm gonna create my own pattern paper using the birthday alpha stamp from Kelly stamps this is part of the new release um, that is released today in fact so I will leave a link down below there's also a discount code for you so you can get 10% off your entire order at Kelly stamps using my discount code on any purchase over $15 so I've just trimmed down uh, one of the pieces of the heritage 6x8 paper so that it fits into to my notebook uh, and I want to create a sort of folded flap I printed out this photo the larger photo is about three by three inches um, but I had a bunch I had a bunch of photos and I wanted to use more than just one so I created this little collage of some of the outtakes I guess the more blurry photos when a little baby is trying to uh, grab the camera out of your hand he loves the camera by the way so he's like my perfect nephew um, and I've just created that little collage in Photoshop but you can easily do that on an app on your phone as well so I've trimmed down um, a piece a second piece of pattern paper this one's a little bit more um, are busy it's orange and yellow and green and gold and I really love it so I've created a flap so the top part of my um, fold here this is going to be covered with my larger photo and on the inside of the flap is where I'm gluing my little collage and I'm just bending that back and forth just to make sure that that fold is really quite loose so that it folds up and down um, freely on the front so you can see on the front there is where I'm gonna stick my larger photo and I just want to add a little bit more detail to the background paper first so in my recent scrapbook.com haul I grabbed some of this nouveau embellishment mousse and it's this really pretty light goldy sort of color so it works nicely with the photo and the background paper and I'm gonna use my little heart stencil from Paige Evans uh, just to add a few little gold hearts now obviously my photo folded flat photo things gonna take up most of that room so I'm just adding a, a few to the top corner and um, in the in the bottom corner down there some of it will get covered up by the flap but um, a lot of it is just gonna give that really subtle texture and shine you can see here after I impatiently let that dry it's not quite dry yet I do have uh, did sort of hit it with the hair dryer a little bit um, so while that's finishing up drying I I am going to create the pattern for the left hand side of my page. I don't want to stamp this straight into my notebook because I know if I do I will muck it up so I've trimmed down a little bit of um, just some regular printer paper and I saved you having to watch me put all of these alphas onto my block here because whew, it took me a little while so how I did it is I want to stamp um, I heart you in a different color than the rest of the letters so I stacked up those letters first and then created the rows of alphas alongside them so it's not perfectly um, you'll see once I stamp this down what I mean it's not perfectly straight it's not perfectly square there are gonna be gaps but it means that the I heart you is gonna be um, on top of each other so you can see through the middle there and I'm stamping that first where I want the I heart you to be on my piece of paper and then I can just go and fill in the rest of the page with the um, the same block of stamps uh, which because it is so huge it doesn't take me very long at all um, I'm using memento ink and I think the color is called tangelo uh, and then I've got a lighter colored yellow to do the I heart you 
well, technically the IU part, I'm going to use um, a sticker to fill in the heart there because there are no hearts on this stamp set. You can see here how quickly the pattern fills up and then once I've finished uh, stamping this larger block of stamps, I can go in and fill any gaps that are left with some other letters that fit. Now the second column of stamps that I'm doing here, I'm lining them up uh, so they're not identically the same. So I'm just starting the stamp in a slightly different place but making sure that the rows of letters line up. And that way when I fill in all the leftover pieces with extra letters, it won't look odd that it goes A, B, C, D, K, A, B, C, D, if you get what I mean. Hopefully you get what I mean. If not, you can see what I'm doing right here. Now I'm just going to use a tiny little block to fill in the rest and my lighter ink, I'm only going to stamp the two letters, so it's the I and the U down here. And that will just help that stand out, it's sort of subtle because the, the main focus of the page is going to be on the photo, but this is almost like giving it um, a secondary kind of cluster at the top here, which isn't actually a cluster. And then I'm going to use my darker ink again to fill in all these little gaps and um, I no longer need all these alphas on my block so I can go ahead and fill those in. So that's my pattern paper created um, and I can just go ahead and stick that into my notebook. The, um, the pattern paper from the Heritage Collection is a 6x8 pad so when I trim that down to fit it into my notebook it's not going to run top to bottom, there's going to be a little gap around all four sides uh, but this piece that I've created is top to bottom so it fills up the um, entire page. I don't mind that look, it kind of it gives this right hand side almost like the look of a frame so I think it works really nicely um, combining those two two different styles. Now I just need to fill in the heart piece and the, I mean one of the reasons I chose the colours for the stamps um, was from my photo and from the heritage but the lighter colour I chose for the I Heart You works really nicely with this peachy coloured heart that was in the sticker set uh, so it all just worked out really nicely and actually ended up being uh, a little bit coincidental that it's the same colour peach that's on the right hand side so Obviously luck was on my side today. I was thinking about stamping this uh, You Make Me Laugh stamp from the LOL stamp set, but I don't think the ink will look very good. I think it's going to be better as a digital stamp, so I'm going to show you how I do that in Photoshop. So this is my edited photo, it's the same photo I printed before, it's a 3x3 three three, um, square, but what I want to do is add the You Make Me Laugh digital stamp to this before I stamp it so it stamps a little bit better, or looks a little bit better. I'm just going to resize that before I place it, um, it's probably a little bit bigger than the original stamp but that's fine by me I want to make it a bit more prominent I'm just gonna hit return and then over in my layers palette um, I'm gonna add a bit of an effect to this just because uh, the stamp sits on some of these white bits here so it doesn't stand out particularly well um, so I'm just gonna double click that and add a layer style and the style I want to add is outer glow um, it doesn't make much difference at the moment because I've got it on screen so I just click this there's all sorts of things in here that you can add but the one that I'm after is multiply just play around have a look through them see what you think um, and I'm going to change the color instead of white so screen means it um, makes it lighten and multiply means it makes it darker so there's no point trying to darken something that's white I'm gonna use black you can use any color you want you can see it makes a little bit of a difference down there I'm just gonna use black because there is black in the photo here uh, and it's got quite a distinct little line on it at the moment so you can play around with all of these sliders you can see they all do something a little bit different and just play around with it until you like how it looks so I'm gonna drop the opacity a little bit so it's not quite as black 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 uh, and just change the size and all it does is it just gives a bit more definition between the white of the stamp and the background because it is actually darkening the background. So 
that's all I want to do just to make that digital stamp uh, stand out a little bit more on what is a rather busy photo and then I can go ahead and print it again so I've got my second photo printed out and um, I don't actually want to waste the first photo that I printed so what I'm thinking I'll do is just use both of them um, I was gonna put some journaling on the bottom of that flap but I mean there's not a great deal to be said apart from the fact that we were having fun with taking selfies so I think it looks just as cute to have the second photo on the inside and then that title kind of pops up when you open the flap so um, again totally accidental but um, luck was working for this layout for me I love when um, ideas kind of pop up like this and this one I really enjoyed now I've got my whole sort of flat organized but it does look a tiny bit plain um, and it sort of gets a little bit lost onto that background paper so I want to create not a great deal of layers because this page is already quite thick with the paper and the embossing and um, the flap so I'm just going to add just a couple of pieces of pattern paper in behind just to sort of I guess it's matting the photo a little bit um, and just giving a little bit more texture it's already quite a rich um, page in terms of colors and I just want to carry that theme through with a little bit more texture I've got the embossing paste and I'm gonna tear up some of this paper um, tearing the paper is a nice option on top of a colored background like this because you do get that band of white which just helps de define the pattern paper a little bit more now when I was first flicking through the pad I had noticed this pattern paper as well with the two different colored oranges which would have worked really nicely as well. I chose the less busier pattern because I wanted to do that embossing paste on top of it. Uh, so this one is going to be perfect for just um, mounting my photo on. So I trimmed that down to make sure it fits all my layers. I'm going to stick the flap down on top of the um, pattern paper and then I'm going to tear the bottom again just to again add that texture and that little little just detail of white which helps tie those two pages together. Now I'm not going to add too much more in the way of layers to this I think this is more than enough I want to stick this down now um, but because the background is quite raised with that embossing paste I do want to make sure that this actually stays really stuck so I'm going to use some double sided tape instead of my tape runner just to make sure that the um, whole flat piece stays stuck on there. I want to add just a couple more details and since I've already got my uh, sticker set out here on my desk I figured I'll just add a couple of little stickers up here on the top kind of make like a, a little cluster and then I thought about maybe balancing it down here but when you open that flap up there's already a focal point there so I decided against it and I'm just going to layer the stickers here up the top but I do want something down the bottom so I'm going to go back to the LOL stamp set and grab out this one that says I'm always smiling when I'm with you which is totally true. Um, I thought about maybe stamping that in black but it is going to take quite a lot of like visual weight there so I decided in the end to just go back to that Tangelo ink and um, just help it blend in with the background a little bit more and I think that is a totally perfect page for that little cutie pie. Both of these sets are available right now in the Kelly Stamp store so don't forget to check out the coupon code down below to grab yourself 10% off. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching there's a couple more videos on screen or why not check out my Patreon page because there are even more videos over there. Otherwise I'll see you guys next time. Bye!